Hey guys, I'm not really happy with my setup, but we're gonna rock with this because this is a read that um I've been uh, moved to do by your uh passed on loved ones. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Now, um, I have a new camera stand coming. Oh, I cannot wait till it gets here, but it doesn't come till next week, so I'm really not pleased with the angle and how this is set up, but we're gonna, we're gonna rock with it. So, welcome. This intuitive guidance session is called Special Messages You Need Right Now from transitioned loved ones. Let me turn this music down a little. But my son is up and at it, and I don't know if he's gonna like bust up in here or anything. Um, but anyway. So each of these piles is four piles as you see. Um oh by the way for those who don't know me I'm get into it with Amina. So you know there's gonna be an aspect of you looking at the cards and really tapping into the messages that you're also receiving. Okay, so back to what we're doing right now. So we got four pals. Each of these pals is a message from a deceased loved one from this current lifetime. So you may be familiar maybe with the characteristics of this person, the way they speak, the things that they might say, um, and you might be able to really tap into who the message is coming from. But the objective of this reading is not a, a full mediumship. I do that, but because this is a collective pick a pick a card, pick a pal, you know, there's going to be an abundance of people who are going to see this video. So I can't sit here and tell you exactly who each person is for every one of you guys. But I can give characteristics, um, your guides know to put their message or guide you to the pal where they are best described or that best I can best translate the message that they want to give to you today so that's just what I feel you needed to know before going into this reading and um let's get started so you're choosing each pal very uniquely today so let's breathe really fast just one deep grounding breath in through your mouth let's go And out, just let go. Yeah, that felt good. Okay, so each pile is gonna be selected by either the crystal, the top card, or sound. All right, so I'm going to use the numbers on the keys here to correspond with each pile because they go up to the number seven, actually. All right. I've never done this before. So this is for those of you that are clairvoyant, clairsentient, claircognizant, clairaudient. You know, those that use hearing um, to tap in, those that use sight and vision, those that just feel it in their gut and their body, those that just know. Um, so anyway, let's go. Power number one. See what you feel when you look at this quartz crystal. What do you see with the card? Gratitude. And the sound for power one. Two. 
you have this beautiful chunk of celestite crystal. The card Saint or Sinner. And the sound a full gold the card sacred sexuality and the sound Black tourmaline. The card War in Peace. So the sounds will one, two, three, four, <laughs> one, two, three, four. All right, I'm sitting here playing with this rather than getting into this reading. So I'll be right back with pile number one. One. Welcome to your reading. You were drawn to this quartz crystal and the card gratitude. This card is a part of your advice. Well, not advice. It's actually the last card I want to read because this time, instead of advice, it's going to actually be the card that tells you what, well, you wait and see. You wait and see. <laughs> it's a surprise all right my son seems to be turning up with this pile so i don't know if there's something really amazingly exciting that's coming in that's gonna just have you giddy like a kid but i do see you gaining a lot of clarity about something with this quartz crystal your past or loved one is somebody i feel like that is pretty clear somebody who when they spoke they were well understood their point was direct it was uh there's someone that people would come to to get clarity to understand stuff that was challenging for them um so i do feel this person uh the spirit would like to give you some clarity on your purpose your highest purpose your destiny your journey forward your your next steps so perhaps this reading will reveal that for you okay this card is the Elemental Empath card. Now, this was originally supposed to be the top card, and then I changed the card. So I'm trying to decide if I want to... I'm going to use this in the last card, too. So this will wait here with gratitude. Okay, so how does this spirit that's coming to right now view you? We got Lizard Twatara. Not that they see you as a lizard, but... 
the characteristics here. Dreaming, sight, knowledge, and hidden gifts. So this past on loved one feels like you are someone who is like a diamond in the rough. You have many gifts, many abilities, many talents and that may have been overlooked that people don't see or maybe that you aren't putting out there. Um, they always saw you or see you now as a great dreamer, someone who has foresight or just visionary sight and um, who is very knowledgeable. I feel like who has really studied what they do or the environment they're in or what they where they want to go and um they see you as very unique yeah just like a hidden gem maybe this is someone that constantly uh inspired you or motivated you or was someone who was a support um in pushing you or not pushing you but you know inspiring you or guiding you towards your goals i feel a masculine energy but if this is a feminine energy i feel that they passed very very old that they were old um okay so are they with you in the physical like reincarnated or are they with you in spirit only the loving man wow people so this guy this deceased loved one has been reincarnated perhaps they were wow okay wait let me flip the other card spirit oh no the sacred temple hmm okay So for some of you, this feels like a father figure or a mate that has passed on, that's coming through. The, if that resonates with you, this person is with you in spirit. Maybe in your home, your, a place you consider sacred, a uh, home, church, uh, the mosque, wherever you go, where you feel you have a sacred space, this person is there with you strongest in those times um then for others of you this feels like someone who has been reincarnated in a masculine form or maybe they were a masculine energy when they were living but now they're back either way they have been uh reincarnated and they're around you in the physical perhaps um as a father figure a lover um, I'm not, I don't know what they were to you in the physical. Just so many energies coming through. This person may have been, um, connected to you in a deep spiritual way in the living. Maybe y'all went to the same church, same place of worship. Maybe you lived in the same neighborhood. If that resonates with you, I almost feel like this is somebody who uh, is in your energy because you shared some intimacy or you shared uh, very deep personal moments when they were living. And maybe for some of you, it's more than one person coming through. All right, let's move on. Um, this guide or loved one to vibe when you knew them in the physical, what was it like? We have the High Priestess. So this person was very spiritual, very intuitive. Um, yeah. <laughs> May have been very feminine or had feminine qualities, if not a woman. Two of Cups. This definitely, for many of you, feels like it was someone you were romantic with. Somebody that um, may have felt like a soulmate or a match to you. Or maybe just someone that you were very, very close to. Like if it was a father figure or a mother figure, you guys were like this. Um, yeah. Three of Cups. Yeah, this person was a very, very close, good, 
energy for you, a good friend, somebody you had a lot of good times with, maybe you drank with them a lot, but, um, and I do see a deep love, a deep, sincere, spiritual connection between you and this person. This is somebody that can make you laugh, or you made them laugh, they were pretty serious, and you can make them laugh, or vice versa. This is somebody who liked to dress up, I get, they were very... Very, they paid a lot of attention to appearance, how they looked, um, and they encouraged you a lot. Yeah, beautiful energy. All right, so let's get you this special message from them that you need to hear right now in order to level up. Yeah, this person was, look, dog, friend. This person was very, very close to you and loyal. And that's how they saw you or see you. Today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. And this is what they want you to know about yourself right now. In order to level up is to realize that you are love. And just by being who you are, you inspire others. Choose to be in a space of joy, my ones. Know that you are protected, but also know that you also are seen in that way by others as well. You make others feel safe. And you're a very good friend, and this person is acknowledging that you're very loyal. That's why they still, to this day, stay in your vibration and energy to help you. Deep. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath on that one. So, next amazing blessing coming in within 22 hours from this moment right now. If you stay in an energy of gratitude and joy. Okay. Gratitude, literally, is showing up for you in that respect. That the more you stay, they're, they're like literally, this This God is literally confirming. If you stay in this energy of gratitude, all of the things you desire will be drawn to you. Look at this light. And I love to read the passages from this one. So I'm going to hold that there. And then we have rest. Wow, perhaps you work really, really hard, my little fairy, fae folk, maybe if you are more of a masculine, my elven vibe ones. And it says, slow down, connect to nature, calm your system. So the next 22 hours, you're going to be blessed with the opportunity and the chance to rest, to slow down, to not work so hard. Perhaps um, you're worried about finances. It just feels like something's gonna take off that it's just gonna flow and you'll be making money in your sleep. You're gonna have more time to get out into nature. And when you do, take that time to really deep breathe to touch trees, to put your feet in the grass, to breathe in that air. Um, take the time that is available to you to rest. It's coming for you to slow down. And I feel like that's a blessing for you. I also, with this earth energy, just feel a lot of abundance around you, my pal threes. This deceased loved one is helping you with being in it, staying in an energy of love and joy so that you can attract in the abundance that is your birthright. And that's what I got for you, my ones. Thank you so much to your past on loved one that uh, came through today to give these messages. Your past on loved ones, because there's a few of you here. And um, I hope it helped you in some way shape or form to glow up level up open up to change 
I hope it also inspired you to give this video a thumbs up if it resonated and to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Um, also read the description and think about registering for my free workshop that's coming up. It's going to be amazing working with the ancestors in this aspect. Um, and on that note, sending y'all so much light and love, peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. And I'll be right back with Pal. Two. Later. Hey, my ones. My bad. I forgot to read you your card gratitude. So let's go. If you're struggling to make ends meet or experiencing challenging times in your career or business, you may overcome the present difficulty through gratitude. I guess they said skip it because that's literally what I told y'all. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Stop dwelling on what you think is missing and be grateful for all you already have. There is so much in your life to be grateful for and it is through gratitude that the universe showers you with blessings. There is no need for negativity and fear for this only serves to block the universal flow stream of abundance from flowing through. Have faith and be grateful. Focus on that which is positive and all will be resolved soon. You may expect a positive outcome over the coming three months. And in this case, for this reading, in the next 22 hours, I give thanks for all the blessings in my life. I give thanks for all the abundance in my life. I am always safe. And that is what your past on loved one wants you to repeat and remember always Okay, my ones. Bye again. Hey, pal two. Okay, wait, we a little. There we go. All right, so you were drawn to Saint or Sinner. This is a part of your last question that I'm going to ask your deceased loved one. So I read that last right along with this card from the Elemental Empath, which I don't turn over until we are up to that. So anyway, you were also drawn to this celestite crystal. I do feel you may have been having some dreams lately. Um, I do feel that they're being sent to you through this passed on loved one. Um, for some of you, this loved one likes blue and they love when you wear blue or have shades of blue um, around. For others of you, yeah, they're heavy, heavy this loved one does communicate with you through your dreams um, a lot and maybe uh, downloads and visions for those of you that are a little bit more evolved and your intuition big time so pay attention to them all right so how does this spirit this deceased loved one view you or how did they the dragonfly wow i literally have a little dragonfly earring. I just, can y'all see it? Yeah. I just put it over to the side before I started this read. I'm going to put that there for you. Because I can't find a match, so maybe it'll turn up now. All right. So you got dragonfly. Um, and it says magic. This person sees you as magic. Always did. Spontaneity, immediacy, and change. Um... They see you as somebody who's always been open to change, not afraid of change, who's spontaneous, um, just a magical person. I, when you're around or they were around you, they just could feel some kind of drive or ambition or fire inside of you. This feels like somebody who could see your potential before you could. Like, maybe you didn't see your full potential. This person did. Okay. Did, does. Y'all know what I mean. Alright, so are they with you in the physical? Reincarnated or in the spirit only? Well, we got spirit angels of the four directions wow this feels like for some of you more than one deceased loved one coming through people kindred partnership I 
feel like this person, this guide is around you in spirit. However, they send to you people to help and guide you. They bring you into situations and environments that they know will uplift your spirit, that they know will bring you the visions and the dreams that are necessary. But they stay around you, all around you, these uh, passed on loved ones. It could be grandparents, great grandparents, cousins, uncles, aunties. Um, it feels like family, passed on family. And they just try to bring to you your soul tribe or your soul mate even. They're really helping you with that at this time. Okay, so uh, let's get some characteristics of this loved one's vibe or when you knew them in the physical. So maybe you could try to get an idea of who these people are. We got Ace of Cups. This person was a full of love for you. Full of love. May have even been an ex for some of you guys. King of Wands. This person is very ambitious and determined. They were like a boss the leader, the king of the jungle. They might have even instilled fear in many. A disciplinarian, um, but a lot of fun as well. If you got to know them. Very protective energy. Knight of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, I just felt like two cards. For some of you, this could have been an ex, but it's someone that was had no problem professing their love. Always letting you know they loved you. They have a lot of love for you. This is just love all around this masculine energy. So for many of you, this is an ex-lover, husband. Um, for some of you, this is a grandfather that loved you dearly um, and always let you know it or an uncle or some masculine energy coming through at this time. All right. <sighs> What's their special message for you that you need to hear right now in order to level up? Hawk. Talk about message. Messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. So, my twos, are you not, you're not paying attention? Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future, my twos. Let yourself ascend to new heights so they really this person's really coming through to let you know that you're being distracted by other things and you're missing the signs or the messages that they're sending to you they're that you're you're you need to get rid of things that are distracting you from your future from having a bright future that things that are holding you down and not allowing you to ascend to new heights as you're meant to um you may also have some kind of Inca or Mayan past lifetime. I don't know. This is making me think of the symbolism. It just keeps coming through for me. So that's something some of you may want to look into. Um, anyway, let's get to the last question. And that's what is the next amazing blessing coming in within 22 hours from now? If you stay in an energy of gratitude and joy. So we have... Saint Sinner. So this feels like some kind of transformation. That's going to be a blessing. I'm going to read to you from the book. But that is exactly what I feel. Some kind of transformation that's coming in. Ability to see. Maybe something wasn't clear in your dreams, your visions, or how you were viewing somebody. Or how you're being viewed. And... There's some kind of blessing or shift that's coming with that. All right, I'm going to come back to that. You also have, wow, mindset. Create reality. Work. I'm sorry, these words are so little. Work with subconscious. Shift. What does it say? Friend mind. Okay, let me turn this bright light. Because I don't know, these words are very tiny and in gold at the bottom. Okay, it says, create reality, work with subconscious, be free, befriend mind. 
Maybe they meant to put befreed. Befriend mind? Okay. Anyway, immediately what I'm getting here is just a mindset shift is going to be what you're blessed with. One where maybe you've been focused and distracted by certain things, maybe partnerships, um, and um, perhaps change that's been happening all around you. And you're going to get some peace of mind, I feel, a mindset shift coming in. Um, and I feel like it's going to be based, like a reality coming in that's based off of your thoughts, your ability to call in what you think of. So watch your mind. Which you, I mean, not watch your mind, but watch what you're thinking of. But if you stay in the energy of gratitude and joy, you'll find that everything is going to change around you because you're going to attract in more gratitude and joy. All right. And your mind is just, I just feel like peace of mind in the next 22 hours, something is going to be resolved for you. Let me look at the saint the center in the book and see what else you need to know that's coming in as a blessing. Okay, so this is talking about seeing something or someone in another light. So what I do feel is that there's someone or a situation that if you keep an open mind and heart about it, things are not going to turn out the way they seem. Maybe you're seeing something and you think it's going to go bad or you like mindset. Your mindset might really always be anticipating a certain person or a certain uh, situation or uh, environment to have a negative energy or something around it. And this past on loved one wants you to know that you have to watch those judgments. You have to watch your mindset because this is a reflective of you too. Okay. So you're getting blessed with some peace and some fulfillment. And the ability to resolve a situation without anybody being on some, I'm right, you're wrong. Just accepting that there's no single truth. And then things, everything becomes more clear. So I'm really feeling like by looking at something differently, your whole, some kind of issue you're having with someone is going to shift or change for the better. And um, maybe to some of you, you're like, this ain't no amazing blessing, but it really is because it feels like whatever this situation was with this person, it's caused a little bit of a challenge. It does feel like someone that might be a partner or a maid or someone significant in your life. Okay. So that is your blessing coming in the next 22 hours that this past on loved one is helping you. Um, to get to just stay in an energy of gratitude and it will come in my tubes that's what i got for y'all pretty straightforward to the point i hope this resonated please give me a thumbs up if it did subscribe to the channel if you're new here read the description sign up for my free workshop i got coming up it's going to be amazing amazing um and uh on that note, sending y'all light and love, peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of the This Light Tribe. And I'll be back with power number three. Later. Power of uh, three. Um, welcome to your reading. Let me put my crystals back. Okay. So you were grown grown whoa i hope you are grown if you were drawn to this pal uh you were drawn to sacred sexuality this is going to be um your answer to your last question or the last thing i asked along with this card from element to empaths which i do not reveal until last no sorry i had to make sure i was recording all right so you were drawn to this pyrite. So um, my pile threes. This deceased uh, loved one that's coming through. They really, really value you or like really see your worth. They see you like a master at whatever it is you do. Um, and I'm hearing like they feel like 
you've been surrounded by fools. It's like what I'm hearing. Like you've been surrounded by fools. People that have not been able to recognize your majesty or your gifts or your beauty um, or your your handsomeness, um, your attractiveness. Something very special about you to them. Um, yeah. I'll put this away here for now. All right, so how the spirit views you, well, you already got a little bit of an idea. Fairy Wren. Wow. Spontaneity, vibrancy, support, the muse. This person really looked at you in that regard. You inspired them. You Maybe you worked with this person creatively. Um, they loved you. They love your spontaneity. They love your radiance, like that you just seem to have a sparkle or a glow to you, a whimsical essence, a ethereal, ethereal <laughs> energy about you. And um, they see you as someone who offers support to many people. Okay. So are they with you in the physical now, reincarnated, or in spirit only cycle increase hmm almost feels like they're working with you in spirit yep the healing light and my son is like going off in the living room yeah this person is with you in spirit now, helping you to gain abundance, to open to receive. There's an aspect of you that needs to heal. Um, I do feel like you all, some of you are here as your energy healers, or you have this gift and you don't realize it. Reiki, hands, something with your hands and energy and healing others, heart centers, um, entire aura shifters. Um, yeah. Let me close my door. He's getting louder and louder. But, um, yeah. This person, this spirit guide comes through to help you with uh, getting rid of a mindset of lack. To support you in gaining at this time. Abundance. To finding the hidden opportunities and jewels that are going to lead you to your dream. They're helping you out of a cycle of lack into a cycle of receiving. All right, so let's see. What was this guide's vibe like in the physical? We have the Queen of Wands. This person was a very good looking, very much a master manifester, able to call in opportunities, um, going after the opportunities they wanted, uh, very friendly. Oh, let me see. Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person, like, wish fulfillment. They were able to accomplish a lot of their dreams, and they would like to help you. And that's what they're helping, literally helping you with at this time. Maybe you were support. Maybe you inspired them a lot. Whatever the case may be, they feel like giving back to you in some way. The devil. All right, this is also some obsessive energy here so i do feel that um this guide is really with you like very close and i think in the living they saw you as their wish fulfillment to an extent to the point where they kind of thought about you a lot they almost obsessed over you a lot um this person i don't know if this is a parent or an ex coming through they may have had some um feminine and masculine qualities uh this this guide i'm getting male and masculine and feminine but this person was very much i feel driven a driven and passionate energy um and yeah, they really did see you as their wish fulfillment. Somebody, they really uh, opened up to you. They thought about you a lot. 
and maybe things for some of you didn't end on a great note. Um, for some of you, I feel like maybe this person passed on and um, things did not end on a great note with you with this person. But I do feel like they're obsessing now with making it right, with making sure you get, you know, you gain something. Interesting. Okay. Um, maybe this person helped you and helped many with getting their wishes and getting and maybe glowing up. Maybe they played a major part in your glow up. Um, but it does feel like they might have thought about you a little bit too much, a little obsessive, and they're recognizing that at this time that maybe they could have pulled the energy back a little bit or, you know, something to that extent. All right. So a special message from them you need to hear right now to level up. Black Bear Guardian. Yeah, this person has very protective energy over you. Maybe they did in the living as well. It says, gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. And this is what you needed to know right now, is that your intuition has been awakened and you are being guided at this time. You are the gentle and wise protector, my threes. And um, you are protecting the ones that you love and they are protected. I'm also hearing that you are protected and so are those you love. If that's something you've been worried about, they're letting you know you don't have to worry about that. Your intuition is being awakened at this time and you are being guided. So listen to the things that are coming to you. The con These are all confirmations of things you've known or you felt. Okay. So you want to level up right now. Know that your guardian angel is one of these guides here and that you are also meant to play the part as guardian for others um, in a gentle and wise way. Okay. Many people will be confident in you in some way. Yeah. Maybe you'll be a teacher or you should be teaching. Birds play a, a, a part with you too, as well as I'm um, getting like being outdoors in nature. Okay. My threes went off on the tangent. So the next amazing blessing coming in within 22 hours from now. What is that? Whoa. Sheesh. You got sacred sexuality here. So the next 22 hours of what's happening, you're going to have some amazing, um, tantric sex masturbation or you're gonna literally have some sex but when i see sacred sexuality it makes me think of the ability to connect with someone that's not there or when you are with them it's just a sacred union it just feels like something you've never experienced before so if that's coming in for you my threes i'm happy that i, I I was kind of drawn to this pile, but I didn't want to say. I was drawn to more than one pile, and I was going to tell you guys, if you're drawn to more than one, it's okay, but y'all be doing that anyway. Anyway, I'm going to read the book for this card. Let me see what your um, Elemental Empath card is. Wow, talk about intuition, third eye, and crown opening up. This is like soul star chakra up above the crown. Um, hand mudra that she's doing here is the one for universal light, and it says awareness. This is your blessing coming in. Let me turn on the light. I've been struggling to read these cards with these little gold letters at the bottom. Key to healing. Huh. And healing light. Notice patterns and illusions. Pause. Wow. So the blessing coming in for you. In the next 22 hours is that you're going to be completely aware some obstacle or challenge is healing you're being offered some healing light from this deceased passed on loved one and don't um, deceased passed on it's the same thing this passed on loved one um you're gonna get the key to your healing maybe meditate today and, um and visualize and just see how strong that energy is feeling because it really feels potent for you at this time. Um, in the next 22 hours, some kind of spiritual work you're going to do is going to level you up. You're going to notice old patterns, things that you thought weren't possible 
manifesting, like you're realizing that certain things are just illusions and that if you just shift your energy and connect, like everything is possible and you're being blessed with this awareness. So it also makes me feel like a major healing coming in and a major cycle of increase um, coming in for you. That is the blessing coming in the next 22 hours. All right, you also have some sacred sexuality coming in. So let's see what that is all about in the book. What it's explained as it open right to it. Sexual energy is perhaps the strongest motivating force that we humans possess. Yet this energy is also one of the most misunderstood and misused energies. Sexual energy, when honored and combined with love, takes on a sacred form and becomes an extraordinary power. Let me make sure. Okay, I never trust my camera these days. I gotta get a new stand. Anyway, the form of sexual energy is the greatest creative force on our planet. This form. Great achievements in all areas of life are possible when we learn to control and direct our sexual energy towards a particular endeavor. Sacred sexuality is a spiritual merging of two souls. This merger may be physical and spiritual, or it can be a purely spiritual one. Both are equally valid and powerful. Wow, so this is another blessing for you in the next 22 hours. Sacred sexuality is also communion with the divine. Ah. Reflected through one another. Oh. You come face to face with the God or goddess of all creation. God, goddess of all there is. It is through such a union that you soon experience a most profound sense of love and bliss. This experience will have a profound effect on your life. Honor it, for it is truly sacred. Thank the universe for this blessing. And man, oh man, that sounds like something you truly should be thanking the universe for. My three, stay in the energy of gratitude. And this is going to come in for you the next 22 hours. Your intuition is going to open up. You're going to get some time to really pause and just breathe as your abundance increases. And you're going to get some sexual as well as some healing, some light healing. Um, sending you so much light and love. Give me a thumbs up if this resonated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Check out the description. Register for my upcoming workshop, my threes. I'm telling you. You don't want to miss this one. Your ancestor speaks. This time we are really going to really dig deep into these generational wounds and really get rid of these burdens once and for all so we can all level up. And I'm going to have to tell my son to shut his mouth. He's getting too loud. All right. Maybe that's what y'all need to do, my threes. Live out loud. Enjoy. Your okay. See, didn't I say I kept standing up to check my camera? I don't even know when it stopped, but I was wrapping it up. So, thumbs up if this resonated. And I guess that is in conjunction with the, pa pa the fact that your card says pause. So, maybe I need to take a pause because I have not eaten yet and I do need to eat. But, um, peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Please check the description if that part got cut off. Sign up for my free workshop. We're really going to dig deep into our ancestral wounds and release these generational burdens once and for all so that we could glow up and truly embrace the healing light that is coming in at this time. Love you guys. I'll be back with Pal 4. Bye. All right. Hey, Pal 4. That's good. Ah, you were drawn to war and peace. This is the answer to the last question. So I read this last. And so is this elemental empath card, which I don't reveal until last. You were also drawn to this black tourmaline. This deceased passed on loved one is a guardian angel to you. Like maybe you were also drawn to Pal 3, but I do feel like this person is like wants you to know that you're very protected and um at this time they're helping you release negative energy that could be people places things around you that just don't serve a purpose of positivity in your life at this time so give thanks my folks all right so let's see how the spirit views you wow water energy they view you as someone that is feeling at this time who is having an awakening 
expression and life. Wow. So they see you as someone who's very nurturing, who's very flowing, like maybe you flow, you go with the flow, um, connected to the water big time. You could also be pregnant, very fertile with ideas, creative um, energy around you, very spiritual person who's having a spiritual awakening at this time, somebody who is very connected to their emotions more so than their mental, um, someone who lives from their heart, which is a great thing. All right. So are they with you in the physical, reincarnated, or in the spirit only? We have energy, fragmented energy. Hmm. New supportive connections, people. I feel like this person is here reincarnated they have some unfinished business here um it may be with you maybe new people that are coming into your life at this time they're either one of those new supportive connections coming in that support what you do remember i said creative and this is like someone doing artwork here um but they are with you now in the physical of this person. And you may have felt it. Maybe you're around someone they just feel very familiar or they remind you of this person or they're into the things this person was into. But this person, um, their energy, they just had, they were not finished here. And I do feel like, yeah, you pass when you're supposed to pass. But um, there was some work they were meant to do in one form and then some they were meant to do in another and that's what they're doing right now. That's deep. Ooh. Okay. So, um, this guide or loved one's vibe. How were they when you knew them in the physical? King of Swords. They were boss. Very smart, intelligent person. They ain't take no shit, this person. Yeah. They told it like it is. Very blunt, straightforward. Queen of Swords. So maybe this is a masculine and a feminine. Maybe you got two people coming through. Or they just really balanced the feminine and the masculine very well. But whatever the case is, you saw them as a boss energy. Maybe this person's older, more matured uh, than you when they passed. They're very honest, wise, um, sharp, like with how they dress, how they looked. Uh, like clean cut sharp um, open but not take they just not going to take no, no mess temperance yeah this person had a very good balance for some of you this person may have been bisexual for some of you this person may have um, been someone who overcame addictions um, this person for some of you may have also been someone who's just always been very peace, very calm, very yin and yang. Okay. Bird energy with this person too. They wanted me to mention maybe birds and I'm getting panther, jaguar energy as well. It is uh when you see these animals, they're trying to get your attention on something. So pay attention. Okay. All right, my fours. A special message you need to hear right now in order to level up. And you have Loom, Look More Birds, Intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. And I'm not even going to add nothing to that. I feel like that's exactly the message you needed to hear right now. That's it. Straight up. Wow. Okay. So let's take a look at what is the amazing blessing coming in within the next 22 hours from now if you stay in an energy of gratitude and joy. All right. And that is over here with this card, War and Peace and the Elemental Impact. So I'm going to read you from War and Peace, but one of the blessings I am feeling I mean, I'm going to read from the book, but I do feel a balance 
coming in. Maybe things like this temperance energy is what they're helping you with. Bringing things into balance, supporting you so that you are able to do the work you're meant to do here. Um, that's a part of their soul calling, their mission. It's to you guys made this agreement, this soul contract. So they're here helping you. Um, and until they complete or finish this work, yeah, they're going to be in your corner. Um, but I feel like you're going to be blessed with a balancing of mind and heart. And when you get a balance between the mind and the heart, it helps you to make decisions easier. It helps you to discover your higher purpose easier. Um, yeah. All right. So what's the elemental empath card? Wow. Intimacy. Almost looks like intimacy with the divine, with Mother Nature, which is the all. It says, connect, discover, and voice needs. Explore and heal. So you're going to be blessed with, look, with connections, and it says connect. I feel not only with connections with people in the physical, but also connections with the divine. Um, I'm also feeling that it's going to help you to discover your voice so that you can speak so that I think you're meant to communicate or speak as a part of your higher purpose. And you're going to be pushed into positions where you must express yourself. Um, I do see travel for you as a blessing that's coming in in the next 22 hours. Maybe an opp opportunity will show up for you to either have to do some kind of speaking or to travel somewhere. Um... And this is going to be healing for you. I do feel the beach is a healing location for you as well. Spend as much time as you can there when you feel like your energy needs a reboot. And um, yeah, your connections to things and people and places is getting a big boost. You're going to find many blessings coming out of your travels and your conversations with people. So let's take a look at what the book says for War and Peace as the other blessing coming in in the next 22 hours. There's a clash between your logical mind and a heartfelt yearning at the present. Your heart is pulling you in one direction while your mind pulls you in another. This is creating an inner war which is responsible for the stress you may be feeling. The way to overcome your current dilemma is by embracing both your heart and mind. Didn't I say that? That's what is the blessing that's coming in for you. Is both your heart and mind are going to become one. So that you can trust what your heart is saying. Yet apply logic and common sense also. So some decision that has you torn. I feel like in the next 22 hours you're going to get clarity. You're going to um, find that you're able to um, overcome any fears that could be standing in your way. Yeah, from moving forward and doing the things you're meant to do. Only by doing what feels right in your heart will you move closer to fulfilling your dreams. Yet you also need to be rational about your decisions. For both heartfelt inspiration and practical logic are necessary in order to achieve a harmonious and successful outcome. So I do feel you getting blessed with some kind of successful outcome. Um, coming out of something that you've had to make a choice about. You have a lot of water energy. I do feel emotions may have been feeling a little tumultuous lately for you, my fours. This water, water. This is literally water. <laughs> this is more water. It's like, you know, just watch your emotions. But, you know, really try to stay in the energy of gratitude of noticing the great things that are coming in for you. And um, the blessing that's coming in is... Your connection is going to grow with supportive people, with the divine and your guides, and um, your needs are going to be answered because you're going to discover your voice, your connections, how to use them, how to use them, how to use those in the physical and those that are unseen. You're going to be guided to explore connecting on deeper spiritual levels, maybe through new supportive connections that can mentor you and guide you and offer you some healing. I do feel um, this guide is also helping you with finding the people that can help you with healing or perhaps they are reincarnated as one of those people. Um, 
yeah, that's what I got for you right now, my fools. So I hope that this resonated with you in some way. Um, give me a thumbs up if it did. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Read my description. It has so many other ways that we can vibe. Don't forget to register for my free workshop, Your Ancestor Speaks. It's going to be off the chain. I'm serious. Don't miss it. On that note, peace, blessings, a lot of good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Sending y'all so much light and love. I hope that you all um, were assisted in some way with these special messages that you needed right now from Transition Loved Ones. And on that note, light, love, abundance, all that good stuff. Y'all know what it is. Let me get some food. I'm hungry. Bye.